everyone, my name is Necromancer and welcome to Words Must Die. As it may seem the title or it, it may seem really hilarious, but seriously, this game is all about shooting words by killing them. That's all I'm going to say, so let's go. Alright. It's a little loud whatsoever. Wow. Hey, look at the sun. Okay. Okay, so it says the sunlight is open green, Arizona. Or is it body heat? New Mexico. All these towns run together these days like blood and all the and the gutter. Just squint at the wind the window of stone. So, if you guys don't believe me, this is what the game is all about. Exactly. You need to shoot the words. Just to complete it. Bang! You fire your trusty gun to the stove! Screw breakfast! Oh yeah! Screw breakfast! I, I, I will just have lunch and dinner instead. Your head for the door. Next to the... Goddamn black hat and cram the white hat with your grimy hair. You won't wear the bad if you're wicked. At least not today. You turn to the door. Okay. Kaboom! You blast the lock of your boarding house door and kick it open. The day of your of reckoning has arrived. You stomp out the street and you go for a nasty jack salute. Oh. Oh, now I can walk. Oh, this is a nice saloon you got there. Oh! Oh! It's entirely made out of cardboard. How fascinating. Alright, let's, let's see. Uh, you live, you fire a warning shot into the saloon doors and kick them open. Every castle rustler and the bank robber in Nasty Jack's gang gasps and stare. You sneer at the poker table or the piano. Uh, in Nasty Jack gangs. So it's like it's it's creating your own story. I, I think I'm going to get this game for just a second. Uh huh. Let's try it at the piano. I, I think that would be really hilarious. <laughs> Love the piano music though. You blast a hole in the shoot music for the dirty gal red top prize. I'm here from my ranch. You shout. Then you unload your whole cylinder into the floor, the ceiling, or the wall. Uh, unload your whole cylinder. Uh, how about the ceiling? Okay, I guess it's in the top then. It's some- oh, okay. Uh, alright. Suddenly, down the stairs comes musty yeastus. That's Nasty Jack's dynamite boy. He's howling and screaming and holding a stick of dynamite or a chicken drumstick. Oh god. Uh -huh. uh, it's probably the dynamite because that's probably the problem. Because if it's a chicken drumstick, that would be just hilarious. But let's go with the dynamite. Thank god you missed the dynamite. You did in fact clip him in the arm though. He drops a stick of a diamond, reaches for his gun or his whip. <laughs> uh maybe his gun, I guess. You blast the gun out of his hands! I get your high and dirty now, you near. Just like you left me after you dad tornadoed my outhouse. Oh my god, that's a weird Texas accent. He grimaces, reaching for, uh, I don't know what grimaces is for. <laughs> his explosive powder is explosive next time. Explosive powder, because why not? The Lord God loves us, because you miss shooting his explosive hat. 
and you shoot him through the wrist. Uh, though, he drops it, falls down the stairs, and rolls across the floor, right out the door. You celebrate by firing a hole through the mayor or the western... Some western guard. The mirror? Okay, I guess you have to go to the mirror then. Or maybe not, there's no mirror in this thing. There's a thumping under the poker table. An outcross gun face Sam Nasty Jack's Schlepp gunsmith. He's got five or six different guns in his two hands and uh his teeth marble he roars aiming his battling pistol or chrome repeater. Probably his gatling pistol. Uh, you knock the pistol out of his hand. He grows blurred and immediately reaches down to this to this belt and grabs uh, a sawed-off eight-pounder or dictionary gun. <laughs> Let's try with the dictionary gun. You knock his pistol out of his hand. He grows and we just really have to Dictionary gun. Yes, please. You knock out the entire English language out of his hand, snarling glarb. He reaches down into the boot and retrieves a miniature gunpowder crossbow and a son of airsoft gun. A gunpowder crossbow would be very nice. He draws his gun and well, look, you shoot it, okay? Enough with the guns you below, gravel. He shouts. Reaching for his final mouth gun? You aim out that mouth gun or his mouth speci his mouth specifically. <laughs> you shoot him in the face! He collapses under the poker table! Extremely dead! Wow! What a gunfight! Actually a brutal gunfight because he shoot him in the mouth. He never got a bullet off. He celebrated by little lodging your lead. Your lead? Your lead in the ceiling? As in the smiley face, the floor, the frowny face. Um, uh, in a smiley face? Uh, okay. Someone bounces up from behind the, from behind the bar. It's Betty Books, Nasty Jack's accountant and financial planner. She did your taxes once badly. Look who's back. She sneers. She glitters with golden rings or diamond brooches. Diamond brooches. You shattered her with the largest brooch and blood spurts from her shoulder. She howls, scrabbling for the bar for uh, a gun. You blast the gun out of Betty Book's hand. Ah, she cries. You perverish him. Uh, but now her weaknesses are exposed, and you can aim it at her head, all her remaining jewelry. Maybe her head. Straight up there. And I could just get the jewelry if he, if he died. You execute Betty Books with her dies. All the financial data related to the daily operations of Nasty Jack's gang. Celebrate by firing into... Uh, the stairway banister, the bars were whiskeys. Oh my god! Nat Jack himself descends the stairs. I see you've chosen to beat the real man. He says, spinning, spinning exactly. Of container, but it's 